<sighs> Good morning, everyone. So, need to get an early start this morning. Need to get down to the dealership and pick up some seed. Now, we haven't got the flatbed trailer. That's the only trouble. Uh, oh, oh, puddle. At least I've got my new boots. So, we're going to get, it, uh, get them to put it into the back of the pickup. Um... I'm thinking sort of just one bag of seed for now. But, uh, yeah, we'll head down and see how they're doing. So Abby is still in a lot of pain. Painkillers don't seem to be helping at all. I'm starting to think that there is something else wrong because usually she would bounce back and be absolutely fine. But I'm really not sure what's going on there. Really not sure at all. Okay. Right, we'll head down to the dealers. I'll see you in a bit. Right, here we are. It's got um, a bit lighter, which is good, as it tends to do in the mornings. Um, right, we will go in and sort out payment for it. It's not going to be cheap. Then we'll get them to load it up. I think they've got a uh, telehandler or something around the back to load it for us. Well, here they are then. Huge bag of seed. He's just nipped in to get something, but... That's, um... Yeah, it's gonna be a bit heavy to take home, I think. But, uh, I'm sure we'll get it sorted. Right, uh... Yes. I'll wait for him to come out, he can load it. That way I won't pay for any damage. Well, that was quite cool. An electric truck. Well, he's fully loaded it in. So we'll get uh, a strap on it or two. And uh, get the back closed up. Then we'll make a move. It's a, uh, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of seed. I mean, this pickup doesn't seem to be struggling at all. Maybe it's a, it'd be a good option for me to get a, a trailer for the pickup. Might, might be nice for me to get a trailer. Now, I'm not going to pull out of here without making sure this time. There we go. We're good. Cars tend to fly down that hill. It's not safe at all. I would say it's it's highly dangerous. And there he is, look. That's the lorry that nearly took me out. Gee, I think it was a grey one, but we'll, uh, we'll go with it for now. Right, uh, so when we get back, we'll have to use the Ursha to get this taken off and to fill up the cedar which we'll put onto the back of the New Holland but uh, for the meantime we'll get it get it taken back Right then, so that's us back safely. If we get the cedar onto the back of this, that will work out nicely. We'll still need, I think we probably will need the front weight on on this when we're seeding, but for now, it will need to stay on the back of the Aisha so that can pick up the bag. All right, let's get this all connected up. Now 
There we go. Right, lift it up. And... Probably have to lower it down and unfold it to get the seed bag above the cover, I would think. Okay, let's give that a go. There we go, that'll do nicely. Right, let's get the pallet fork onto this. And we can have a look at getting the seed in. It is a bit of a faff, I'm afraid. But once the seed's in there, it's in there. be very d careful not to damage the pickup here. We point the tines down slightly. I'll go for the right hand one, I'll be able to see it better. There we go. Beautiful. Perfect. That's no damage whatsoever. Okay. Now it's just a case of getting the seed into the cedar. Well, could I reach from over the back here? Possibly. The last thing I want to do is damage anything. There we go. Let's get this filled up. I'll give the bag a bit of a push. And we can open up the bottom. Right, so all the bag fit in quite well. There we go, that's the back closed down there. Uh, we need to take the rear weight off of this. And that needs to go onto the front of the New Holland. just pop this away in here for now there we go lovely okay this will be the tell anyway if we pick it up and it lifts up at the front end um, actually not terrible but I think we will attach the uh, the weight anyway. It's a little bit light. But yeah, this cedar is nice and wide. I'm amazed that Trev was okay lending it to us. But it'd be really, really nice to have it back to him by the end of the day, I think. All right, I'll get this weight attached then we should be good to go. All right, well, that's the weight fitted. As you can see just there. Oh dear, look at all the weeds we've got in the field. Oh well, this cedar should make mincemeat of those. We'll just have to deal with them again when they uh, pop up next time. I'll have to find a way to get a sprayer I think that's gonna be tough uh, we might not have to, might not have any options and we'll have to leave the weeds this year but we'll see right 
let's get this unfolded. Looks good. Power it up and lower it down. Uh, oh, in case you're wondering, I've gone with wheat seed. We're putting wheat in. So it's quite a wide working width. Tractor seems to be coping extremely well with it, which I wasn't quite sure about before, but now. Yes, I'm definitely sure that we're, we're good. Um, I'm not really quite sure how to tackle this bit though, because I don't really want to be driving over something I've already seeded. Uh, hmm. That's the tricky bit. Maybe we'll start at the bottom and work our way up, but we'll have to do a lap or two of the headland afterwards. Just to finish off. I'm surprised they haven't harvested that corn yet. I don't know whose it is, but... Uh, odd. Usually I would expect someone to have done that by now, but... I don't want to tell other farmers how to do their work. Okay. Right. We shall crack on. And... Uh, We'll get it done as best we can. Well, this cedar is absolutely incredible. Nice wide working width, not a bad working speed. Uh, we're just heading around the headland now just to finish up the field and that's it all done. Unbelievably great, really, really is. I've driven on the seed as little as possible so that we don't have any compaction. Oh, I think this is definitely worth more than 50 quid a month. I'm really grateful to Trev. We'll have to take a bottle of wine round for him later to say thank you as well. But it has been absolutely fantastic. Don't know how much seed I've got left in it either. I'll have to double check when we get back up to the yard. But this is it, then the last little bit up here, and then we're done. Just keep to the edge. And then we are. I've got a full wheat field that is completely sorted and planted until the new year. Should germinate before the wind, before we go through the, uh, the cold snap, the winter period. Don't know what we're going to do about the weeds, though. That's the only thing. Might have to see if I can borrow a sprayer or 
we can get hold of a sprayer at a, an auction or something. I, I just don't know. Alright, so let's miss that tree. And then we're off. There we go. last thing I want to do is damage it, so we will make sure that we're going around the barns and the walls. But I do want to check what seed we've got left, so need to leave it unfolded for that. There we go. Fit a bus through here. But I think the bus is probably narrower than an unfolded cedar. Okay. Well, uh, I'll be taking it back to um, to Trev this afternoon. Just need to check the seed in it. So, let's hop out. If we fold these steps down. There, and we open it up. Oh, look at that. It didn't even use much seed. I've got a uh, spare bag, actually, on a frame. Um, I'll get this seed taken out and put it into the old seed bag. It's uh, it's back in the um, in the shed over there somewhere. I'll get that done now. Actually, I changed my mind after all that. I put it back into the bag it came in. Be easier to manoeuvre around, I think. Better get that in under cover somewhere. Right, let's close that up. And fold the stairs away. There we go. Right, I think we need to get the cedar folded up. We will leave it down on the ground now just to keep the uh, to keep the load off the back of the tractor. But we'll have to remember to pick it up before we move, before we go and take it back later. Well, time for a spot of lunch, I think. That was just brilliant. Very happy about that. Let's see how Abby's doing. Well, love, we've got a field full of wheat. Oh, that's brilliant. You worked so hard. Done my best. How are you doing? Um, I'm still in, still in a lot of pain, Robert. I'm Sorry. starting to get a bit worried because I don't think if, there, if there's nothing broken, then I don't know why I'm in the pain that I'm in. Do you want to go back to the hospital? No, I don't think so. Um, the... The doctors did say that maybe I should get referred for an MRI scan, so um, I'll ring the doctors and see whether they can do that for me. Okay, yeah. I think that's best. I'm just really worried, because um, obviously I can't work like this. I can't walk around in this sort of pain and be able to teach, so I don't know what we're going to do about money. Look, we will figure something out. I will sell the hay. I've got a trailer load of hay to sell. Um, we... We're going to the, the livestock auction. As soon as we get the cows, we can get some... We've that... got no money for the cows, Robert. Look, if we get some that are ready for milking, then we can start to sell the milk, and that, that'll bring in a lot more money. That's a consistent income, then. Still got to feed them, though. Yeah, we do, but they can be fed on what we produce on the farm, so it's just a bit of um, mineral feed that we need to buy. It would be really lovely to have some of the animals, and I would like to go to the to the livestock sale, just even just to see them. I feel so lonely round here without the animals. It would make you feel better, wouldn't it? I think yeah. we should do that. Okay. Well, I'll get on to the doctors and see whether they can um, get me a scan so we can find out what's going on. Okay, and then after lunch, I'm going to take the cedar back to Trev. Okay, well, say hi from me. <laughs> <laughs> Will do. Okay. Oh, there's a deer in the yard. Go on, shoo. 
Right, so, um, let's get that seed bag put away to start with, because we don't want it getting wet at all, do we? Hopefully now it's not a full seed bag, it won't be too heavy and I'll be able to pick it up easily enough. Try that. Ooh, it's a little bit light on the back, but uh, where are we going to put it? Let's put it in the let's put it in the shed over there. That'll be nice and dry in there. Might as well leave this in here as well, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be nice and dry in the back of here. Lovely. Hmm. Right. Uh, that could stay there. I'll just shut the back up. And then here we go. Remember to lift it. And then shift it. Right. Put the lights on. Or the flashing lights, that is. And we'll head down to Trev's farm. Quite excited to show you some of his kit, actually. He's got uh, he's got some pretty um, pretty eccentric stuff. I mean, he he came over here from Australia originally, and his um, his girlfriend is Irish. Her name's Sandy or Sandra, Sandy. Um, obviously he's Australian, but yeah, we just got chatting in the uh, in the pub one night. Found out that he bought one of the farms that we were originally looking at, and yeah, he's a really friendly, nice guy. If he needs anything, I'll help out. If I need anything, like a cedar, then he helps out. That's. Uh, yeah, really, really good. He probably would have heard me come come in, so uh, yeah, we'll um, we'll put the cedar down where we got it from, if his shed's open. Uh, no, it's not. Okay, we'll wait for him then. Let me show you some of his kit before he comes out here. Oh, he might want it in that shed. He's cleared it out. Anyway, here we are. So, he's got this Manny 2, which, to be honest, I'd take more care of it if I had it, because it is a fantastic tool. It's a proper telehandler. Yeah, and it's... it's 
scissors is really, really useful, but he just doesn't take very good care of it. Uh, there's a disc arrow in here. Pretty similar, really. Doesn't keep it clean or anything. Uh, right, it's a lovely tractor. He's got a lovely tractor, and he does take care of this one. Although it is showing its age a little bit. But yes, yeah, so it's M MB Track Turbo 900. Absolutely fantastic tractor. Might be able to borrow that at some point. <laughs> we'll see. Um, and then he has got a harvester. Pretty old harvester. S similar. or well, Same make as um, Gavin's old harvester. FMZ. It's a bison. But... Uh, yeah, it's yeah, it looks useful, but um, we won't be able to borrow it unfortunately, because it's not registered to go on the road. So uh, it's sawn. He can get to his field fields from straight out of the farm, so he doesn't need to uh, doesn't need to take it on the road. Now this, this is an extremely old mint condition old Fiat van it's absolutely stunning and it's so well looked after but that's basically his grain cart his grain transportation and I just think it's incredible it's absolutely amazing I've seen it running as well it runs like a dream like an absolute dream Anyway, that covers all the kit I wanted to show you. Let's see if we can find it. It looks like they've got a fire going. Let's see if we can find them. Hello, Trev. Well, good day, mate. And uh, I heard you roaring past in your tractor. Yeah, I've brought your cedar back. Well, thank you very much. And I hope it. Uh, I hope it was good to you. It was actually absolutely cracking cedar. Cracking. Ha. <laughs> Never get you pommies in your your language. Anyway. Where you put it? Well I haven't yet. I've it's still on the back of the tractor. Thought you'd like to tell me where to put it. Yeah, no problem. Follow me. Right, where are we going then? Oh, I see you found the uh, the shed I cleared out. Yeah, just pop it in there, would you? Yeah, sure. No problem. Right. I did say you cleared out that shed and it might be... Might be that that's where he wanted us to put it. I imagine just sort of the middle of the back of the shed would be absolutely fine. There we are. Right. There we go. Right, I will have a bit more of a chat with Trev before we go. Hey, Robert! Robert! Yes, Trev? You've, uh, you've met Sandy, haven't you? Yes, Trev. She was there when we, when we met at the pub for the first time. Ah, oh, yeah, of course she was. Oh, she's feeding the bunnies. Come on. Hello, Sandy. How are you doing? Oh, hey there, Robert. How are you? I'm pretty good, thanks. Yeah. I haven't seen you since we were down the pub. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, but no, I've just returned. Uh, I've just returned Trev Cedar. Oh, that's nice. How are you uh, settling into home farm there? Yeah, pretty good, thanks. Um, yeah, it's just apart from Abby's accident, then um, it's been it's been pretty good. Yeah, I was really sorry to hear about that. I'm sure she wouldn't mind you coming to visit her occasionally if you were uh, you want to. Yeah, that'd be really nice. It'd be nice to meet her. Yeah. Cool. Um uh, We'll have to get together sometime. All of us together. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. Do some food or something down the pub. Yeah, that would be nice. Um yeah, when when Abby's feeling a bit better maybe because she's uh, in a lot of pain at the minute. Anyway, I'm I'd better head back to the farm. Um so thank you very much, Trev. No problem, mate. Any time. And uh, I'll see you soon, Sandy. Yeah, that'd be nice. 
See you soon, Robert. Right. Time to head back to the farm. Seed has been amazing. I will speak to Trev about the idea of getting a sprayer, maybe to share between us at some point. I'm not sure why they've got uh, bunnies, to be perfectly honest, but I'm sure that they... Um, Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, let's head back. It really is a lovely bit of the world here. And all the people are, are also great. Wow, that's a big field. Huge field. That's the big farm around these parts that's owned by a fella called George, I think. Uh, not really sure, but not not got anything to do with them just yet. Maybe one day. But at the minute, just got to focus on our little farm. See how things are going. this tractor away in here all that I'm going to do for the rest of the day basically is just to in anticipation of possibly having cows we kind of need to make sure that everything in here is, is pretty good we have got a bit of old manure to clean out to check everything works basically let's have a look here with the lights yeah they're all working nice look at that light up beautifully that'll be good for the winter there is the milk tanker yeah also good I think they can Ah, so this, this trough has got an automatic fill point, which is fantastic. The one in the sheep field doesn't, but this one does have a hose pipe going to it, so... And it all looks clean and like it's still working. Fantastic stuff. So... We do have some silage. We do have some hay. Uh, there is also a bit of mouldy old food in here still. But yeah, we can feed silage and hay. We can put those straight into the trough so we don't need to mix them. It's only when we start getting the um, the mineral feed, which we will be getting, just to pop in, up into the mix, that we'll need, to, we'll need the mixer anyway. Right, I think that's the only light switch available in fact we'll leave it on for now i'll get my wheelbarrow and we'll clear that clear that out here we are then got my wheelbarrow pop that there just need to grab my shovel here it is i knew i'd find it Well, this is one of those jobs that has to be done. But, uh... It's not hard work. Especially when you miss the wheelbarrow. Well, there we go. Right, uh, I need to just pop this over here. Lean that up there. We shall wheel the barrow out. I'll go and switch the lights off and close the gate. That's pretty much us done for the day then. 
think this place is ready for some cows. Get the gate all closed up. There we are. We'll wheel this round to the pit. Yeah, really, really looking forward to getting some cows. They'll start producing slurry. They'll start producing more manure. Uh, they'll start producing milk as well. Do want to get some milkers as part of the uh, the clan. Here we are. Tip that out in here. Uh, might as well leave that there. Might be worth us getting the um, the old spreader out as well. Maybe on the new field in the new year. We shall see. Right. I think we're good. So that was it then. Thank you so much for watching. It's getting into the winter period now, so there's less jobs to do, but I think we're good. Oh, the hay has all dried out really nicely, by the way forgot to mention earlier that hay on the trailer and the stuff at the back all dried out really really well um just got to keep it under cover now until it's uh until it's needed to be sold or needed for cows right thank you so much for watching and i will see you again very soon bye for now